Hello, Aries. How are you? Thank you for joining me. I'm Karma. This is Karma on Deck. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me on my channel. <clears throat> I'm a psychic here in Las Vegas. I'm going to do a tarot reading for you with my dragon deck for your March, what is it, 10th through the 16th. Um, so yeah, let's see what we have going on for our Aries this week. All right, kids. Nice little easy intro into Mercury Retrograde. I've seen a couple bumps and roadblocks for some of you out there. It's been interesting. So let's see where we land, okay? All right, let's go, Aries. Let's see what's up with you. Hopefully you guys are a little better than Pisces. They weren't doing so well. Working hard, I see. Aries has got stuff going on Monday. Ooh, okay, so you guys, it's funny how this always just flows the way it does. Things are changing for one and then the other. So the Four of Wands, you guys as well are working on some projects that are getting, um, you guys have the Four of Wands as well. This is telling me that you guys have a foundation built and you're starting to see some reward um, to your hard work. You guys see now Pisces had problems finding money for a project, right? But you guys that have the page, which is you have money that you guys are trying to put toward a worthy project. So you guys are actually doing the spending instead of looking for the money. So you guys have some things to put your money toward and get on. Um, I feel like there's a lot of movement going on in your life right now. Things are kind of on the flow and a lot of moving parts. The seven of coins is telling me that there's a, there might be a possible move or something having to do with, you know, transferring places. This is a small move. It feels local. This is something that's not a major move. It's within the city or within the neighborhood or state. It's not something that's really big. It might be an office or a storage unit or something small like that worry about that too much but think moving parts things are shifting all around I am picking up seven of cups so whatever it is you're doing for your own spiritual growth and for getting your own self balance your center your work-life balance is gonna happen for you guys this week or you'll be kind of balanced this week seven of cups that's personal balance this tells me that all the things that are going on in your life are, are like you're not nothing's gonna be too overwhelming so um, let's see You guys' pace is going to be pretty quick this week as well. I have the Eight of Coins, so this tells me that you're going to be on your feet a lot and there's going to be a lot of physical activity outside of the home. They had a bad temper. Let's see, I'm sorry, Pisces was having a bad temper, but you guys are going to really not be having to have a temper. It's the Five of Swords that's telling me that you are going to have to say some harsh words to people. Cross swords are never great. This is where you have somebody in front of you that just is not taking no for an answer or isn't hearing what you're trying to tell them, and you have to use the words that are a little more harsh or brutal, so to speak. I mean, this is really somebody calling them out. You're going to have to do that this week. If you find yourself in that situation, please go for it. I mean, Mercury retrograde gets confusing and people get their little things twisted, but I would just say that card recommends that you just speak your piece because if you don't make it very abundantly clear, they're going to keep pushing those boundaries. I have the three of cups, which tells me that you guys are going to be isolating yourselves and kind of putting yourself on the shelf a little bit so that you can have that peace because you genuinely are a little oversensitive and, and, and moody. So that tells me that, you know, you're not really in the mood for company. You're not wanting to be interfered with or bothered. Yeah, there's a confirmation to that. There's the <laughs> the hermit. So I saw that kind of came out before I even saw the card. So the hermit, like take time for yourself, take a bath. I was telling Pisces the same thing. Get yourself some checkout time and um, give yourself some space. You definitely have some, you're the first one so far to come up with communication issues. We had a, the Three of Swords showing up in everybody's cards, in everybody's readings, but yours actually shows up as you're not going to be heard this week. The, for them, it was miscommunications. The Three of Swords is showing up for you in such a way that you are going to feel like you're not being heard. That goes right back with the other card we were looking at where it talked about you speaking your piece. So you're going to feel frustrated and snap. I mean, you're actually not snappy. You're actually saying what needs needs doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where'd it go? Like a ghost in your own home. Somebody's right in front of you and they're not looking at you. They're looking through you and just dazed off and you just want 
smack him in the hook. But anyways, this is the Five of Swords. Do the smack if you have to. I don't know. A little bit of isolation never hurt anybody for a little while. We're going to be halfway through the met uh, retrograde by the end of the week anyway. It's going to go faster than you think. So end of the week, I do see some um, romantic excursions for some of you. Ten of Cups is balance and love. So you guys have some nice uh, retreat type stuff with your loved ones coming up. Some of you guys are feeling a little stuck, though. I do have the Ten of Swords, so that's telling me that you feel like caged in. This guy really isn't caged in, but it's just a perception. It doesn't feel like this is where you're overcommitting yourself. Some of you need to learn to say no. <laughs> say no. If you're getting overwhelmed, do it. You know, do that or recruit help, like I told Pisces. So Ten of Swords, feeling stuck, feeling restricted, and a little like housebound cabin fever type stuff. So if I were you. Oh, it is going to clear by the end of the week, though. Six of six of swords. See, so it's all like your roller coaster. You have lots of moving parts, but you're going to want to isolate by this end of the week. Yeah, yeah. So, six of swords tells me things are going to work out just fine and smooth out toward the end. It's all emotional right now. Actually, you know what? Everything is emotional if you look at it. Projection is perception. That's my favorite NLP phrase. You know, not everybody's an asshole, sometimes you're the asshole. Not everybody is in a bad mood, sometimes you are. So projection is perception. Pay attention to what you're putting out there and see if that's what's returning to you. And if your attitude is causing some of this, then I see you being a little bit moody. Anyways, thank you for joining me. Did I call you Aries when I was supposed to in the beginning? I'm Karma, Karma on Deck. If you'd like your own personal reading, look me up, leave a comment in the section and give me an idea of where you are and tell me how you think the reading went. Thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you guys next week.